we are going to start hacking the box or something. Uh, this is how you do a DNS zone transfer through a vulnerable BI9 uh, DNS application or server, if you will. First of all, the target we're going to use is somebody I really don't like anyway, so screw them. Uh, what we're going to do first is do NSLOOKUP inside Windows here. I spelled that wrong, of course. And don't type anything after that, just hit the Enter key. First, you're going to set your server. I'm going to set this as hostfrog.com. Okay, you hit Enter, it comes up. Next thing you're going to have to do is set type and then equals any because we want to get any type of, oh, well, I spell type wrong. We don't want to get any type of DNS information that we can get from these people. And this is a very bad thing because I can obtain all your information about your servers and not a good idea to have it wide open like that. Uh, it is actually very easy to patch. You can find documentation for that on Bind's site uh, or on the uh, uh, internet somewhere. Um, next thing we do is set the switch, LSD, and then you type in target again. And then wham, there we go, baby. We just dropped all the DNS information, did a complete zone transfer. This is not good. We were pretending that we were the actual DNS server uh, that was requesting the transfer. Um, obviously, we we contacted the authoritative name server and it just dumped all the information here. So you can see this is not a good thing because it gives you all sorts of information. It gives you the name servers here, NS1, dot, NS2, NS3, NS4. So we can tell that this is on, probably on one box. Um, and you got your names and then your forums. Obviously it's got set for forums um, inside uh, bind DNS uh, configuration files. You can tell this is FTP, and you see it's all the same IP address. Local host, of course, is your local host to your NIC card, just 127.0.0.1. Uh, your CNAME is hostfrog.com, of course. Uh, secure. Well, you can see this all really runs on the same IP address. As you can see, this is not good. Um, this guy here only has one server, so we know that. Uh, for instance, if he had a DNS server providing DNS to multiple machines on his network, we would see here on the left-hand column a bunch of different machine names, whether it be Joe Schmo or Billy Bob or whatever. Uh, you can see that would be in there. So, in other words, not good to have this information available to any Schmo on the Internet because this can lead to DNS cache poisoning, which in, if we look down here, 86,400, that's the TTL, time to live. So the DNS cache poison would last in that server for 86,400, I believe it's milliseconds, but that's the time to live in the pack itself. Um, if you were to DNS cache poison this, this box, um, basically if you made it every time they request, requested hostfrog.com and you poison it to point to fbi.gov, uh, it would last, that request would last for 86,400 milliseconds, I believe, or seconds maybe it is. Um, so basically anybody that relied on a DNS server, yeah, they would get pointed to FBI.gov instead of HostFrog.com, which they originally requested. So you can see that this is not a good idea. Bad, bad, bad. Hacked box. What's up, bitch? This guy's a noob. So feel free to do whatever the hell you want to him. His name's Corey, of course. You can see here, Corey.HostFrog.com. Guy's a loser. In any case, 